blessed to be a nobody, nobody. My life was full of misery. I wandered all alone. There was no one to talk no one to go. My life was going down the drain. And every day was full of pain. One day I turned to the Lord and the veil was taken away. away. Oh, he has taken my body away. It's to be a nobody, nobody. My life was full of misery. I wandered all alone. There was no one to go, no one to go. My life was going down the drain. And every day was full of pain. One day I turned to the Lord and the veil was taken away. away. Oh, he has taken my body away. It's to be a nobody, nobody. My life was full of misery. I wandered all alone. There was no one to go, no one to go. My life was going down the drain And every day was full of pain One day I turned to the Lord And the veil was taken away, away. Oh, He has taken my body away It's to be a nobody, nobody My life was full of misery I wandered all alone There was no one to go, no one to go my life was going down the drain And every day was full of pain One day I turned to the Lord And the veil was taken away, away. Oh, He has taken my body away It's to be a nobody, nobody My life was full of misery I wandered all alone There was no one to go, no one to go Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Viewers, good evening, everybody. We are here again in Clevenant TV and radio station here in Palma de Mallorca, Spain, on our program, The Bible, sponsored by CKVCG here in Palma de Mallorca, Christ Kingdom Victory Church of God here in Palma de Mallorca. So today, we'll be talking about thanksgiving. But before we go further, let us just have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, ancients of days, we want to thank you for a time like this. Thank you for the privilege given to us to come before you. We give you all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, as your word is about to come forth, we ask my Lord and my God that you, Lord, will minister your word to the hearers, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. As many that will hear your word today, I pray, Lord, my God, that you, Lord, will touch their hearts in the name of Jesus. Meet them at the point of their knees. Do for them what they cannot do for themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, help us, O oh Lord, to put your word to practice in the mighty name of Jesus. That we will not just be the hearer only, but the doers to your glory, to your praise. That your word will yield for fruit in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for answers to prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, today's topic, before we go into today's topic, I really, I quickly want to share with you our mommy's book, The Angelic Ministration. The Angelic Ministration. It's a book you must read. A book that will transform your life. A book that will make you to run and testify. Hallelujah. The Angelic Ministration. Angelic Ministration by Pastor Faith O. Akinwumi. So please, get it the numbers there are there on the screen where you can how you can get it and uh, the phone numbers are there also please just book for your own order for your own and it will bless you in jesus name amen 
This one is our daddy's book, 21 Days of Glory. 21 Days of Glory by Pastor Victor A. Benjamin. 21 Days of Glory. People have read this book and the book has transformed their lives. So I want you to read the book as well. And you too you will testify. The book will also transform your life. Read. It is good to read books. And I, I, I pray as you do so, you have reasons to glorify the name of God in Jesus' name. 21 days of glory. Hallelujah. This one is also by our daddy in the Lord. Marriage God's way. Marriage God's way. As we all know, it's God that institutes marriage. So when you read this book and you are having problems in your marriages, in your relationship, God will step in. God will step in. Everything that has been troubling your marriage, when you read this book, God will step in and you will testify. Marriage God's way. Are you about to get married? Are you about to go into marriage? Are you into a, 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 a courtship? You need this book. You need this book. We have it in Spanish. We have it in English. So please, go get your own. It's a question and answer about marriage and related topics by Pastor Vito and Faith Akiwumi. God bless you. Hallelujah. So, like I've said, our topic for today is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. How many of us know how to say thank you to Jesus? How many of us know how to say thank you, Lord, for all that the Lord has done for you? Many people will say, ah, what has the Lord done for me? If it is only the gift of life that the Lord has given to us, it's worth thanking him for. If you, if, you, if you can think back, just think about the people that they gave birth to, to, to you. The people that we are... Is your, is your doing... There is a casting down. You will say there is a lifting up. Because you are a thanks giver. Because you know how to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It, 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 it's a thing that we all must learn. If you are a, a parent, like we parents, if you do anything for your, your, your child, or you, you, your child ask for anything from you, and you, you happen to be able to give it to him or her, you will see that child will be happy. So also, and that child will always come back to say, thank you, mommy, thank you, daddy, I'm proud of you. You are the best mother in the world. You are the best dad in the world. So also it is with our God. When we know how to say, thank you, Jesus, when we know how to say, thank you, Lord, for this thing that you have done for me, the Lord will be moved to do more for you. He will be moved to do more. Hallelujah. It will be moved to do more for you. Why? Because you know how to say thank you, Jesus. If you know how to say thank you, Jesus, nothing dies in your hands. Nothing dies in your hands. God is not a man that he should lie. If the Lord says anything, he will surely bring it to pass. 
he will do it. He, because he always honor his word more than his name. Hallelujah. So let us know how to say thank you, Jesus. It is very, very important. Let us know how to say thank you, Jesus. If we know how to say thank you, Jesus, whatever we are believing God for, those things will begin to locate us. Whatever we are believing God for, though you, will, you will just be surprised the way those things will just be coming forth. Why? Because you know how to say thank you, Jesus. Why? Because you know how to appreciate God. I want to encourage each and every one of us to please call your friends. Call your friends, invite people, invite people to watch the program, and let us also know how this program has been a blessing to you. Let us know how this program have be, has been a blessing to you. It is very, very important for us to know how this program has been of a blessing to you. So invite friends, call your family to listen to the word of God. The Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. There is nothing that we are passing through that is not inside the Bible. There is nothing that we are passing through that God cannot minister to, that God cannot do. All we need to do is to have faith in God and put our faith into practice. So let us learn how to say thank you, Jesus. That is my topic today. That would take us to a portion in the Bible. Let us go to the Bible. Luke chapter 17, verses 12 to 19. I want to talk a little bit about the ten lepers that Jesus hid, and it was one that came to say, thank you, Jesus. It, it was ten, ten lepers that Jesus hid, and it was one out of the ten that came to say, thank you to Jesus. And when you, when you go to that chapter, Luke chapter 17, verses 12 to 19, you will see what happened. It was 10 of them that met Jesus as Jesus was entering into that village. But they cried out with a loud voice that have mercy upon us. And the Lord said, told them to go and show forth themselves to the prince. But it was only one of them that came to say thank you, Jesus. So let us go to Luke chapter 17 from verse 12. So we are going to read verses 12 through 19. I read Luke 17, verse 12. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off, 13. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us, 14. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the prince. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Hallelujah. Verse 15. And one of them, when he saw that he was hid, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. 17. He fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. 17. And Jesus answering said, We are there not ten cleansed, but we are the nine. Hallelujah. So, it was, it was ten of them that cried out with a loud voice, Have mercy upon us, Jesus. And the Lord turned to them and said, Okay, go and show yourself unto the prince. On their way going, they were hid. So one of the ten turned back, ran back to Jesus to say, thank you, Jesus. 
he was coming with a times full heart, glorifying God. So the remaining nine, they went on their way and said, ah, at last we are hid. Just like you and me. You and I that the Lord has done a lot of things for. Instead of us to say, thank you, Jesus, we are still looking at those things that the Lord has not done. If we are, if we are truthful, we, we, when we sit down, let us think back where we are coming from, where the Lord is bringing us from, and let us think where we are right now. We will see that we have a lot of reason to glorify God. We will see that we have a lot of reason to say thank you, Jesus. So it was one out of ten that know that have that heart of thanksgiving that ran back to Jesus to say thank you, Jesus. I am healed. He was happy. He, he was happy. He was, his heart was full of joy. So he now ran back to Jesus and said, thank you, Jesus. I am healed. I am healed. Then Jesus said, now ask him a question. Say it was 10 people that were, that, that was healed. Where are the nine? Are you among the nine? that went on your way after the, all that the Lord has done for you? Are you among the nine that said, oh, at last, the Lord has done it for me. I don't need anything more from him anymore. Ah, this is the biggest thing that the Lord has done for me. Ah, I don't need anything anymore. No. In, in, in our day-to-day -day activities, in our day-to-day -day life, we need Christ. Without Christ, we are nothing. Let us not think, yeah, ah, I'm okay now. I don't need anything from him anymore. We need him 24-7. Because without him, we are nothing. So let's read the last one, verse 19. He said, and he said unto him, arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Hallelujah. So that healing was not permanent. The remaining nine, they were hid, but they were not made whole. This man that came to say thank you to Jesus, the Lord now pronounced upon him, he said, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. So, I, 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 the, the remaining nine, is possible that sickness might come back on them. Because their own healing is not permanent. permanent. Their own healing is not... The, 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 the Jesus didn't tell them that they are made whole. But because this man came with a thankful heart, came with a, a, a gratitude heart to tell Jesus, thank you, to appreciate God for all that the Lord has done in his life, the Lord now sealed up his healing. And said, thy faith has made you whole. How many of us that the Lord has done a lot of things for that, can, that have gone back to say thank you, Jesus? But we, we, always, we always know how to run to him whenever we have problem. I, 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 why is it that most of us humans, whenever we have problem, we remember there is God somewhere. But when, when we are okay, when that problem is being solved, we say, ah, I am on my own. I can do whatever I want. Please, if you are among those people that are saying, I am on my own, I can do whatever I want, I want you to know that without Christ, you are nothing. But if you know how to thank God for the little thing that the Lord has done for you, I want to assure you, the Lord will not forsake you. He's always there for his children. But let us know how to say thank you, Jesus. It is very, very important. It is very, very important. If we are grateful to him for all that the Lord, let us just take one or two things. Let me take, if it is this air that we breathe in today, how many of us can buy it? I saw a, a, um, uh, an avat, is it avat? I saw something on the Facebook that was shared. Uh, somebody said uh, uh, he was sick and they took him to the hospital. Then 
the, the doctor told him that he is going to be on oxygen for three days or for one week. So after that, after that three days or one week, they now brought a bee to him. That the bee was so much that the man now hold his head and say, what? For these few days? And I am not thankful to God for all the days of my life. Since the day my mother gave birth to me, to this very day, I have not been paying for the air that I breathe in. The Lord has been giving it to me freely. I have to be grateful to God. So that is the way God does his things. I wish that man was not sick, that he was taken to the hospital for him to pay for the oxygen for one week or for three days. That man would have not known how to say thank you, Jesus. He would have not known how to appreciate God for for the gift of life that the Lord has given to him from the day he was giving birth to, to the very day that, that day. Sometimes a lot of things happens to us for us to, to, to see the goodness of God in our lives. For us to know that without him we are nothing. But most of us, be who we are, humans that we are, we will always pay deaf ear to it. We will not listen. So I want to encourage each and every one of us today. If you are grateful to God, if you know how to say thank you, Jesus, if you know how to appreciate God for all that the Lord has done for you, oh, the sky will not be your limits. It is very, very important for us to appreciate God. It is very, very important for us to say thank you, Jesus. Because if we know how to say thank you, Jesus, anything that we, even before we say it out, those things will come forth. Whenever our daddy in the Lord is teaching us, whenever he's, he's teaching us, he always says, if we know how to thank God, if we know how to thank God. If at all they, they place us in, in, in desert, things will work out for our good. Many people will say, ah, desert, yes. As children of God, if you know how to praise God, let them put you in any way, you will still flourish. Why? Because you have the greater one behind you. You have the greater one inside you. So he will always make a way where there seems to be no way. But how many of us, human, when you, when you, when you do, does anything for anybody and uh, that person refuses to come and tell you thank you, will you be moved to do more? No. No. Hallelujah. So please, I'm here today to encourage each and every one of us. Nothing dies in the hand of a thanksgiver. If you know how to thank God for what he has done for you, he will be moved to do more. He will be moved to do more for you. There are people that doesn't know how to say thank you, Jesus. All they know how to do is to complain. Ah, yes, so I, I need this. Why is my nose like this? Why is my eyes like this? And you, you cannot even, you cannot even make nothing. All they know has to do is to complain. Hallelujah. No matter what, no matter what you are passing through, the Bible says in every situation, in all situations, we should give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. He said, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving. Let us go to Psalm. Psalm 100. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Hallelujah. Know ye that the Lord, he is good. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. 
we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gate, enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Hallelujah. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Let us be realistic. What, what can we do for ourselves as human? What can we do? What can we do for ourselves? Even children that the Lord has given to us to take care of, giving birth to children, do you know that many people take it as, as a, a, something, I don't know how to say it. Just to carry it for nine months, we are complaining. What of the person that is giving it to us? You see many people say, ah, I am tired of this, my child. I don't know what this child wants from me anymore. We are always complaining. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God always. Always give thanks to God. That is what the Lord needs from us. Give him thanks. Praise and worship his name. Hallelujah. Jesus, being the good man that he is, he has compassion on those ten lepers. He has compassion on them. And he told them, go and show yourself to the prince. On their way going, they get hid. They were hid. It was only one. Not even half. Out of ten. Not even five. Or six. Or even three. It was only one that came to say thank you, Jesus. No wonder the Bible said the heart of man is desperately wicked. But if it, it, if it were to be us, the human, we would say, ah, don't you see them? After, after all I've done for them, I have done this, I have done that, I have, but the Lord is a faithful God. He's a good God. Verse, verse 5 of Psalm 100 said, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Are you among those that the Lord has done something for? You don't know how to say thank you, and you are asking more. And you are, you are, you are, you are asking more. You are believing God to do something more for you. Many of us, when we have problems, we will say, uh, oh, we will be making a lot of vow, a lot of uh, um, thing. If you can do this for me, I will, this is what I will do. If you can do this for me, I will buy church bus. If you can do this for me, I will, I will, I will give millions to the church. If you, it's money, money is not everything. God is not interested on in your money. He said, the, the animal in the thousand hills are mine. He said, the gold and the silver, they are mine. He said, if I need anything, I will go get them because they are his. He has them all. So don't think, ah, yeah, uh, okay, because of this problem, let me just tell God, Father, if you can solve this problem for me, I will buy you Jeep. If you can solve this problem... What is this? Who, 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 who owns your money? It's God that gave us power to make wealth. So he, he doesn't need your money. He doesn't need your jeep. He doesn't need your, your, your car. He needs your thank you. Your appreciation. That is what the Lord needs from you. He wants you to appreciate him from the bottom of your heart. He wants you to reverence him. He wants you to, 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 to worship him in truth and in spirit. If we know how to worship God in truth and in spirit, if we know how to say thank you from the bottom of our heart, you will see that things, things will begin to fall in place for us. Hallelujah. I, 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 I said something here. I said, I said that. Jesus entered into the village and met ten lepers. And they called on him, Master, have mercy on us. And Jesus, being the good man that he is, 
have compassion on them and told them to go and show themselves to the prince. And they went on. They went. On their way, they were hid. So one of them came back to Jesus and worshipped him and said thank you to Jesus. Are you among those that when the Lord does anything for you, you always run out to testify? Are you among those when the Lord does anything for you, you always say, ah, I, 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 I just want to shout seven hallelujah to glorify the name of the Lord. I just want to jump up to glorify the name of the Lord. I just want to sing a worship song to glorify the name of the Lord. Are you among those? I want to tell you, if you are among those that know how to thank God, keep it up. Nothing dies in the hand of a times giver. If, if things are not working out the way it ought to be, keep on thanking him. Keep on thanking God. He will do more for you. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. With him, all things are possible. There is no impossibility with our God. What is it that you want? What, what is the name that the people, the world are, have given you? I want to tell you, my brothers and my sisters, just keep it up. Thank God always. Thank the Lord always. And the Lord will be moved to do more for you. Hallelujah. The Lord will be moved to do more for you. There is no impossibilities with our God. Is the God that parted the Red Sea for the children of the Israelites to pass through a, through a dry land. They passed through the dry land. That same God is alive today. There is nothing he cannot do. There is no impossibilities with him. I just want to encourage you. Learn how to say thank you, Jesus. Learn how to appreciate God. Learn how to have the heart of gratitude to God. When you know how to do this, every other thing, every other thing that you need will follow. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. So if you know how to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, every other thing, what, what, whatsoever that you need, I don't care to know the name. I don't care to know how big that thing may be. I want to tell you, God is the Alpha and the Omega, the omnipotent, omniscience God, the God that can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we think or ask through the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. What is it that you need? Just keep thanking God concerning that thing. Keep thanking God concerning that thing. Is it an ugly situation? Keep thanking God concerning it. You see, the Lord will make a way where there seems to be no way. The Lord will make you to testify in the midst of that thing. You will testify. That is how he's going to do it, I don't know. But I want to encourage you today, no matter what you are passing through in your life, be be among those that know how to say thank you, Jesus. If you know how to say thank you, Jesus, the Lord will work it out for you. Hallelujah. I quickly want to read something from Psalm 34. Verse 1 said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear their rough and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and he delivered me from all fear. Delivered me from all my fears. Hallelujah. Let us know how to magnify the name of the Lord. Let us know how to magnify the name of the Lord. No matter what, I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times, bless his name, glorify his name, thank him. The Lord will do what you think no man can do. With him, all things are possible. There is nothing he cannot do. 
I don't know what you are asking from him. I don't know what you are believing God for. I am here to encourage you today. I have tried it and it works for me. Those, if people that knows me before I came to Parma, even when I came, where you see me now, I think there is a big difference. It's not my doing. It is the Lord doing. And it is marvelous in my sight. I, 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 I do tell my God every day, Father, help me to appreciate you more. Help me to appreciate you more. I want to do more. I want to do more for him. Because if I have mat all over my body, it's not enough for me to say thank you. If anybody tell me that I will be alive today, I will not believe. But the Lord has kept me alive. The Lord has sustained me. The Lord has been my provider. The Lord has been there for me. Even when my father, my mother, my everyone forsake me. But the Lord picked me up. Hallelujah. I, I am not, I don't know. Many people will say, who, who are you to talk to us? Who are you to preach to us? I don't know. But the, the, the Bible said, the Lord said the foolish things of the world to confirm the wise. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you today. I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. I, I just want to encourage every one of us, those that are watching, that situation that you are into. I just want to encourage you that just I just want you to start saying thank you, Jesus. I want you to start appreciating God concerning that situation. I want you to lay it at the feet of Jesus and say, Father, it's no longer mine. I have laid it at, at your feet. I have given it to you. The, 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 the greatest thing here is salvation. Salvation. If you have not known God as your Lord and personal Savior, if you have not accepted the Lord as your Lord and personal Savior, ah, I think you are making a great mistake. There is no salvation elsewhere. It is only in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, as many that have accepted him as their Lord and personal Savior, he has given them the power to become the sons of God. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you, if you have not given your life to Christ, look for a living church. Look for a living church around you. Go and give your life to God. You can as well invite the Holy Spirit, invite God into your heart. There was a time in my life I thought I, 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 um, everything is, is finished, everything is gone. But this thought keeps coming to me that I have to rededicate, rededicate my life to God. That I did. And after I rededicated my life to God, I am standing before you all today. It's not by my power. It's not by my grace. It is not by, by my power. It is by the grace of God. And ever since I rededicated my life to God, the Lord has been there for me. If, sometimes when I'm thinking about this thing, how is it going to be? The Lord will just show up. The Lord will show up. That is what God can do. So I want to encourage you today, if you have not accepted the Lord as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to, the, let us go to Romans, the book of Romans. Romans 10 verse 9 said, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. 10. He said, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with thy mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. You don't need anything big. All you need to do is just to confess Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Just say, Father, I know I am a sinner. I'm not worthy to call upon your name. I'm not worthy to stand before you. Papa, you are a merciful God. You are a compassionate Father. Have mercy upon me. Father, I have come to you. I, help me. Help me. I need you in my life. I, I do tell people, if you think, if you think you can do it on your own, if you, just give the Lord a try. The Bible says, come, taste, and see that the Lord is good. So, yes, and many people will say, ah, all these church people say, they don't, they talk again. Now, so this one go talk. Now, so that one, yes, they don't, they talk. But if I were you, I would, I would sit down, think about it, think over it, and, and put it into a, a, a try, try the Lord, 
and see that the Lord is good. Okay, tell God, I have tried everything. I have done everything, but yet nothing is coming forth out of it. So I want to, I want to give the Lord a try. I want to, for, now we are uh, uh, in March. March is going, we are going to enter April very soon. From the month of April till September, from the month of April till August, let me give myself to God. Let me try this God, and you see what the Lord will do for you. He will step into that ugly situation. Is it, the, is, is it that you are looking for the fruit of the womb? People are using that to call you names. Is it that you are looking for a husband? People are using that to call you name. Is it that you, 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 you are sick, you need healing? People are using it to describe you. I want to tell you, my brother, my sisters, there is nothing God cannot do. If they can give Jesus name, they, can, they will also give us name. So in the Bible, they said Jesus, he was using the spirit of Bezebel. Hallelujah. So if they can say all sorts of things about Christ, who are we? We are humans. Let them say whatever they want to say. But I want to encourage you in the Lord. Hold on to God with thanksgiving. Hold on to God with a thanksful heart. Hold on to God. Tell him, I will not let you go unless you bless me. I will not let you go unless you do this for me. The Lord is still in the business of doing miracles. God is even breaking the, the, the protocols of doctors. He's doing beyond our expectation. My best Bible quotation is Ephesians 3. 20. That is my, my, my best Bible verse. I so much love it. If you know me, just go into my, my Facebook. You see it's, it is there. Ephesians 3 20. Now, unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. What is it that you are thinking? You want to be the first lady of the of your state. You want to be the first lady of your of your village. God can do more. He can do more than that. What are you thinking? You are saying, "I wish I just have a child I can call my own." A child. God can make you to be mother of children. Children, not just a child. You are saying, "Oh, I wish I just have a man." that I can carry his name as a husband. God is able to do more than that. May you learn how to appreciate God. Learn how to say thank you to Jesus. Learn how to appreciate him, to, to, to be grateful for the gift of life. If you think the Lord has not done anything for you, but you are alive, just be grateful for that. Just be grateful for that, that, that I am alive. Start from there. Let's, let us think maybe you are among those that say, ah, what has the Lord done for me? What is it that the Lord has done for me? He has not done anything for me. I, I, I went to evangelism one day and I was talking to somebody. He said, eh, I don't know God and I don't want to know him. I said, why? He said, because it's of no use in my life. I said, really? And then I said, who created you? He said, my father and my mother. Then I said, who created your father and your mother? He said, they are, they are, they are his great, uh, grandparents. I said, wow, I pray that the Lord will have mercy on you. The Bible says it is only the fool that says, there is, says in his heart, there is no God. Are you among the fools that says there is no God? Are you among the fools that says there is no God? It's a big question. It is not your father or mother that created you. It is God that created you. And the Lord has created you for a reason, for a purpose. So if you don't know him, that reason and that purpose will not come to fulfillment. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I just want to encourage each and every one of us 
to learn how to appreciate God. It is very good to appreciate God. You see that man that came to say thank you to, to Jesus. The Lord now sealed up his, his healing and said, thy faith has made thee whole. And the remaining night that didn't come for Thanksgiving, they didn't come to say thank you, Jesus. Maybe after some time, they will have leg pain, they will have one sickness or the other, then they will be saying, ah, what happened? Ah, maybe I've seen you. Ah, it's my, it's my grandfather's uh, wife or it's my grandmother's husband. No. No. And most of us, when we are having problems, we vow. We make vows upon vows upon vow. And we don't know how to fulfill our vows. The Bible says it is better not to vow than to vow and not fulfill it. If you make a vow unto the Lord and you are not fulfilling the vow, you are not paying your vow, you are, you are, you are creating more problems for yourself. The, Lord, the, the Bible says, God said in his word, he said, his glory he shares with no man. It's a jealous God. So whenever you ask God for something and you seal it up with a vow, try as much as possible to always fulfill your vow. I do tell people that whenever we are asking anything from God, let us not always put money first. Money is not everything. You can, you can, you can tell God, Father, I need this thing. Father, if you do it for me, I will come out and testify. I will come out and shout seven hallelujah. I will come out and, 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 and roll seven times on the floor to glorify your name. I will, I, will, I will buy something to glorify your name. It depends on you. It depends on you and on your level. But many people will always think that, yes, uh, when we are talking about vow, about thanksgiving, we, uh, it's, all is about money. No. No. You can come into the house of God and tell the people of God, the, come out in the congregation of the Lord and testify of what the Lord has done for you. Maybe somebody is out there in the congregation that is passing through that same situation. As you are sharing your own testimony, as you are thanking God for what he has done for you, that person will know that God still answers answer prayers. That person will know that God is still in the business of doing miracles. Hallelujah. The Bible says, iron sharpeneth iron. So, when we come out to testify, to glorify God, to thank God for what the Lord has done for us, we are encouraging people out there that are passing through difficulties, that God can still do it. So, let us not be, be, be among those that say, I don't need, need anything from him anymore. We need a lot of a lot of things from the Lord. The sister once said, eh, I don't need anything. I don't need, I don't need anything from the Lord. I have houses. I have money. I have cars. I have everything. It came to a time she was looking for the fruit of the womb. Hallelujah. There is a saying in my, in my language, I am the Nasser Romanu. You don't know when, when you will say it in, and the, the, the angels of the Lord will say amen. And it is you that have said it. Later you will be saying, oh, it's witches or wizard. No, it's not witches or wizard. It is you. That is why the Bible says the tongue is the smallest part in our body. But it can, it can kill and it can bring our life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I just want to encourage each and every one of us today, no matter what you are passing through, if you can start, start with thanksgiving, if you can start with a, a gratitude heart unto the Lord, thank him. Just forget about that situation. Just forget about that thing that you, that you need. Just start thanking God. Thank him 
for the gift of life. Thank him going out and coming in. Thank him for where you are today. You sit down. Sit down and think about three years ago. Let me not say 10 or 20 years ago. Just think about two, three years ago. Think the way your life was. Then you will see that you have millions of reasons to glorify God. Let us stop seeing the things that the Lord has not done for us. I need this. I need this. I need this. I need this. Ah, where is this God? Is God still answers prayers? Does God still answers prayers? Does God still do miracles? No, He does it. He still do miracle. But you, you, because you don't know how to thank Him. Because you don't know how to appreciate him. Because you don't know how to, 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 to be thankful to him. And most of us, we, whenever we pray, we just pray because we want to pray. God is not a man that he should lie. He knows us more than we know ourselves. Hallelujah. So I will encourage each and every one of us, please, no matter what you are passing through, no matter what you want from God, know how to say thank you. If you know how to say thank, if you know how to say thank you, the Lord will be moved to do more for you. He will be moved to do more for you. It's not a matter he should lie. There is nothing he cannot do. There is nothing God cannot do. Absolutely nothing. Nothing he cannot do. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage each and every one of us, please let us keep it up. Thanking God always. Thanking God always. It is very, very, very important. Very, very important. No matter what you want from God, if you know how to appreciate him, if you know how to say thank you, Jesus, the door will be open. The Lord will be pleased to do more for you. He will be pleased to do more for you. Few years ago, I wrote a song in my dialect that says, um, if you are grateful, if you are a child that knows how to say, thank you, Jesus. If you are a child that knows how to say, let us take our, our physical parents, for example. If, you, if your father goes out and when he's coming, he bought you something. And with that joy, you run to your dad and your daddy say, uh, blessing, this is for you. I say, thank you, daddy. You start kissing your father. Start. Tomorrow when he's coming back, he will also buy you something. That is, that is it. That is the logic. So if we know how to appreciate God, if we know how to say thank you, Jesus, you will see that God will do more for you. I want to encourage each and every one of us. You can call. If you have questions, you can call. If you have contribution, you can call. And then um, let us know how this, how this program has been a blessing to you. And... Let us know. Share it with your friends. Share the program with your friends. Invite people to watch. I can see my daddy here is watching my able pastor. Hallelujah. Pastor Dave Akigbe. Thank you, daddy. Say God bless you. Thank you, sir. You, are, you, you, you brought me up. Abel White Osawe. God bless you. God bless you, mama. God bless you. Pastor Dave, you are watching. God bless you. Esther Osasuyi, you are watching. God bless you. Thank you for watching. So I really want to encourage you all. Please let us know how this message, how this program has been a blessing to you. Let us know. And if you have questions, you can call. If you, if you are the type that read your Bible, you don't understand, you can call. If you have anything to add, to contribute, you can call. And uh, I quickly want to say this before I forget. By tomorrow, we are having worship service 
in our church, seven o'clock. It's worship all true. Just come, come with that problem. I want to invite you to come, come. No matter that situation, no matter that situation, no matter that problem, I just want you to come and lay it at the feet of Jesus. Nothing dies in the hand of thanksgiving, thanksgiver. So please, come tomorrow by 7 o'clock in our church promises, CKVCG, Christ Kingdom Victory Church of God, here in Parma de Mallorca. So we are going to be having a night, evening with the Lord. Worship all true. Worship all true. Hallelujah. There is power in worship. There is, there is power in praising God. So maybe you have been praying for that problem. It seems not, nothing seems to be happening. I just want you to come with that problem. I, don't, I just want you to come with a, a gratitude heart, a heart, of, a heart to receive. If you come with a heart to receive, the Lord will meet you at the point of your need. The Lord will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. The Lord will step into your situation and turn it around for good. Hallelujah. So I want to invite you, please come tomorrow by 7 o'clock, Friday tomorrow, 7 o'clock, on our church promises, CKVCG here in Pamadi, Mallorca. If you want to come, our church boss will come and take you anywhere you are. But if you, are, if you live along, uh, around Songolo, the church boss is always there to pick people. Wherever you live, just pick up the number, call, and the church boss will come and pick you. I don't want you to say, ah, because I don't have money to come. I don't have money to take bus or I don't have money to take taxi. We have our church boss is ready to pick you wherever you are. Come and be a partaker of what the Lord is going to do tomorrow in our midst. We are not selfish. The Lord has been so faithful. He has been so good to us. So that is why we are using this platform to invite people, come to God. He has done it for us. He will do it for you. What is it that you want? What is it that you are believing God for? What is it that makes you to, to have a sleepless night? What is it that makes you to shed tears, uncountable tears? I want to tell you. I, I, I told you a little story about myself. Few years ago, let me just say four, five, six years ago. The Lord stepped into my situation. He has turned it around for my good, to his glory and to his praise, to the disgrace and shame of the devil. Hallelujah. So if the Lord can do it for me, he can do it for you also. I do tell people, what is it that you need that the Lord cannot do? Is that thing that you need or that problem that you are into, is it bigger than Christ? No. If God can give his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, so there is nothing, absolutely nothing that you need that he cannot give. The Bible says, if we that are evil know how to give good gift unto our children, how much more our heavenly father, he knows how to give us the good gift things that we need. He knows you more than you know yourself. He knows the, those things that you need more than you you might be thinking you need a car now, and the Lord says you need a house. Hallelujah. So I just want you to prepare your heart. Come tomorrow. Come and be a part of this worship. And I pray your life will not remain the same. Hallelujah. And uh, when, uh, every Sunday, you, on, on the screen, you can see our service days there. Just come. Come. On Wednesday, we have Bible study. On Friday, we have workers' meeting. On Thursday, we have house fellowship. On Saturdays, we have choir practice. On Tuesday, we have choir practice. Come. Come and be blessed. I pray that the Lord will step into your situation and turn it around for good, to his glory and to his praise in Jesus' name. So I'm about to end this, this uh, program, but I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Call. Let us call. Let us share this program. Let us invite people to watch this program as well, and God will bless us. Kings Onaiwu, God bless you, sir. God bless you.
God bless you. So I, want, I really want to appreciate those that are watching, those that are sharing the program. I pray that God will bless you. Lawrence Ugyagwe star, you are watching. God bless you, sir. That is the worker master. God bless you. So I pray that God will do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. By the special grace of God, next week, Thursday, same time, I'll be having a guest here, a wonderful woman of God. She will be here with me to dish out the word of God. So I want you to prepare your questions. I want you to invite friends. I want you to share this program. As you do so, God bless you in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, we'll be drawing the curtain here today. I pray that God will meet each and every one of us at the point of our knees. Let us not forget times given. If you are sick, thank God concerning that sickness. Thank him. Say, Father, I thank you for my healing. I thank you for my knees. I thank you for my children. Let us have a heart of gratitude, a heart of thanksgiving. Let us learn how to say thank you to Jesus. If we learn how to say thank you to Jesus, we will see that things will start falling in place for us. Things will start falling in place for us, and God will not turn his back on us. He's a merciful God. He's a compassionate father. He said he take no delight in the death of sinner, but sinner should repent and come to the knowledge of knowing him. There's, there is joy in heaven over one soul that repents. And the Bible says he that winneth a soul is wise. So please, let us not, maybe the, the, the devil will tell you one, don't listen to her. Who is she? Who is that woman to talk to you? Don't listen. But listen to the voice of God. I am nobody. But I want you to listen to the voice of God. I want you to open the door of your heart. God's hand is wide open. If you can say, Lord, come into my heart. Come and be the Lord and Savior of my heart. He will not turn his back on you. No matter who you are. No matter the sins that you have committed, it's a merciful God. It's a compassionate Father. He said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Let not the devil deceive you. You know, the Bible says the devil is, a, is an accuser of the brethren. Whenever you want to do something good, the devil will always say, hey, you, have you forgotten who you are? Have you forgotten what you have done? That is the trick of the devil. Tell the devil, get thee behind me. I am not a child of God. The Lord has forgiven me all my sins. I am not a new creature. I am now a born again for Christ. Hallelujah. Everybody have past life. So, and Christ came for sinners, not for the righteous people. He came for you and I. So let, don't allow the devil to, to, to keep telling you uh, uh, inferiority complex. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You cannot do it. You cannot answer your prayer. If you go on your knees and call upon him, he will answer your prayers. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage each and every one of us. God bless you. Mike Bello, thank you, sir. God bless you. I, I am going to draw the curtain here today. Today's topic was thanksgiving. Jesus healed ten lepers. It was only one that came to say thank you, Jesus. Are you among those that came to, that that uh, are you among those that is telling Jesus thank you? Are you among those that say no? I don't need anything from him. I, after all, he has done what I want from him. Let us have the heart of thanksgiving. Let us have a, a gratitude heart to say thank you to Jesus. I pray that God will do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Eternal Rock of Ages, we want to thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for a time like this. We thank you for the privilege given to us to share your word, to hear from you. We say, be that glorified Lord in Jesus' name. Father, as your word has come forth, my Lord and my God, I pray, Lord, you over, that you, Lord, will help us to meditate on these words, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word, O Lord, Transform our life. Let, our, let your word make us to be that which the Lord has created us to be. That at the end, Lord, we all will have focus to glorify your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cover each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Same time next week. 
remain blessed in Jesus name hallelujah it's to be a nobody nobody my life was full of misery I wandered all alone there was no one to go no one to go my life was going down the drain and every day was full of pain one day I turned to the Lord and the veil was taken away away Oh,